All right, stop, drop, and roll, and collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention called a hose to put out this fire. Help us use your ice that ma- What am I? Today I'm gonna do a haul. Sorry for being so loud there. I feel like, um, I've only, I've not really done a lot of hauls, which I think is a complete lie to you and myself because mainly everything I do with my time is accumulating things with currency, buying things. So this is kind of like a video of things I've accumulated this month with currency. God, it, I bought things. I bought these things that I bought with my own money today, kind of all today, <laughs> but also throughout the month, like some beauty bits, some clothing bits, and some, there's this fluff, this fluff friend that won't go away. I really like haul videos. I usually just wake up in the morning and put up, put on a haul video and get ready as people are talking in the background. It's very soothing. And I feel like this will help me justify what I've bought because, um, Hopefully, yeah, like a lot of people write in comments are like, oh, that looks so cute, or oh yeah, I'm glad you bought that, or oh, I want to kill you, I know where you live. Like just really things, like just it, let us begin with the things that I bought that are cosmetically related. Why am I trying to make words sound better than they are? Like, I'm just gonna, these are the things that I bought that are, make, this is makeup. I got this All May Lip Balm in Just Plum. Oh, this thing, just plum. I love the All May color stick. What are they called? All May liquid lip balms. I love them. I have the cantaloupe one, and I can reapply this puppy all day. And I do. And it's like an inch thick on my lips, boy. And another lip thing that I got is the NYX matte lipstick in. Strawberry Dockery, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's kind of like a brownie, neutral, orangey, red. It's just like a neutral, it's like a burnt orange. This is my favorite drugstore lipstick, these NYX matte lipsticks. I think they stay on all day. You don't, you hardly have to reapply them unless you really like water and drinking out of cups constantly. So if you're really, if you stay hydrated a lot, lipsticks, don't go for these. Another lip thing, because it's winter and it's winter? It's these Niv the Nivea lip butters that everyone has on the face of the planet and probably doesn't care about anymore. But I want to try them because they're very hydrating. Because I wake up in the morning and I'm like an old man who can't talk at all. Because my lips are so chapped. It's delightful! It's so nice! Also, Essie was having a nail polish sale that instead of $11.99, they were $8.30. $8 so I got this one, this little, this really, really baby blue in Bikini Sautini. <laughs> and then I got white, this white one called Blanc. <laughs> I really like Essie nail polishes. Um, for obviously obvious reasons, they have a really nice color selection, but I also feel like they're really overpriced and really overrated because of the font they use. I love Essie because I think the bottles are cute and I like the little font they use. It's very round and everything is the same size, but it still looks like it's in cap. I don't know, it looks like a real, it's like that girl in high school that you always envied her nice writing for. That's why I like Essie. I got CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation in Creamy Natural. And I got this because I got the uh, CoverGirl Clean Foundation in like the little bottle, which I absolutely love. I love this. I haven't tried this one yet because the reason I got it is because I have a, it has a pump. Because the other one, I love it. I think it's amazing. But how do you get it out? I don't, the only way I can get it is if I shake it like that. Um, but then it goes everywhere. And then you got yourself a mess on your hands. It's just, it's so much effort to, like, or you stick your pinky in there, but then it's all in your nail. And so this has a pump. And same brand, CoverGirl, 
both the same color scheme, so. Does anyone else know how to solve the no pump problem? Do you just literally have to throw it around your room and then wipe it off the walls and put it on your face? Because that's what I've been doing. Oh, that's unhygienic. Um, I went online to Clearly Contacts and got another pair of glasses. If you guys don't know, Clearly Contacts is a um, glasses company based in Vancouver, BC that is so wonderful. I don't, I should be their spokesperson. If you sign up today, you will get your first pair free and you just have to pay shipping. And if you live in Canada, shipping is like $10. So basically you'll get your prescription, really decently nice pair of frames for like $10, $15 altogether because there's tax and stuff. So I went online, I got these guys. Frame on the top, you know? In the package you get your little glasses cleaner and um, the wipe cloth, the wiping cloth. And then they also added downy fabric softener and then Tide Pops. So if your glasses get dirty, you don't have to wash them with the cleaner they gave you. You throw them in the laundry with all the rest of your delicates and throw on a Tide Pod, some ultra downy fabric softener and these babies will come out squeaky clean. Don't do that please. You'll break your glasses. I don't know why these were in here. At first I thought they were Reese's Bites and I got so excited. But they weren't. I feel like this is a look called Neapolitan Ice Cream. I don't know if it's a good thing because who likes that flavor? So I ordered some shoes off of Nasty Gal. These brown boots. I really like these boots. Um, I, I need to wear them more or break them in because I wore them once and they were mighty painful by the end of the day. So I don't know because they are they look super comfortable. I really like the grip. Oh they are also featured in my November lookbook. So yeah I've had these for a while but I've only worn them once just because I don't care about what I buy. The rest of this is going to be like a thrift haul um, because it, I went to Valley Village today with a couple friends and it was 50% off day. <laughs> it was 50% off day. I got things, which is why I'm filming this video. I got this black corduroy, oh god, like buttoned baggy jacket, and it was three dollars. I got this oversized like kind of it's kind of like a big blanket houndstooth coat and it really it's kind of like short but really baggy and like if I'm wearing a sweater kind of like the cuffs of the sweater show through so I really like it it's really um, like I said it reminded me like a Parisian and um, this was only four dollars and do they have little pockets no? Well, it should. <laughs> I love, oh, yeah. I got this really big, fluffy red sweater. So it's $6. It's a little bit more pricey, but whatever. I love how fluffy and soft it is, and I think it would look really nice in Christmas time for the holidays and stuff like that. So I'm really happy about that. Kind of clashes with my hair, but let's be honest, my hair does not like to hold color, so it will be faded by tomorrow. Finally got a pair of Mary Janes and they got a nice, nice fat old buckle. Nothing like a fat old buckle. And then I got a pair of just like red, really simple red heels that I think have never been worn. There's something in my eye. So I bought this black beret. This is only like a couple bucks, and I think I just love those Paris vibes, man. And um, it's really fun to do this with. Then I got this brooch, and it's got like a rose in the middle and nice gold and on the all around it. So that was all that I bought. Na, 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 na. Oh my god! Don't rain on my parade. My name is Barbara Streisand, and I, uh, anybody but me, 
at the volume village. That's not what she sounds like. People, people who need people are the luckiest people in the world. I got that. I got that. That's what I, I bought that too. This is my Barbara imitation. I know. <laughs> it was amazing. I'm not even a big musical theater buff. I don't like, well I like musical theater, but I just couldn't. That thought ended in my mouth. Same with that one. Yeah, so that was my whole, oh and I got this camera too. But you know that, because I've been filming on it for a while now. Let me know if you enjoyed that video, and please justify my purchases in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, all my social media is down there. Or maybe I'll put it here. Or here. Or here. Or here. In black. A nice black font against the white background. And if you haven't, um, subscribe. Because I recently just reached 2,000 subscribers. And to me, that is... <sighs> Well, my fluff friend's back to congratulate me. I went cross-eyed there. See you, 2,000 of you, later. What was this video again? Oh yeah. Um, so that was my haul.